Welcome to this week's episode of the Weekly Digest. The Mouth of South. We're your anchors. Romano. And Josiah. Oh. And this new year, you should try a new food. Or... Try... And now, the Weekly. Spagooter! We interrupt this weekly digest to give you an important broadcast. We need people for... If you like working with others, have a good work ethic, and like entertaining people, then check your email for this video in the for the application. Hope to see you soon, and keep it steamy. New year, which means a new new. Hello, my name is Zoe. What do you like about online schooling? Honestly, you get to sleep in a lot. <coughs> and it's really nice. Mm, but it does occasionally ruin your sleeping schedule. Is there anything you would prefer online schooling to change? Honestly, they need to make their videos more interesting. That's basically it. What do you like about South? I like South because of the people here. Um, the people here are really nice. The teachers uh, will help you like with like basically a lot of things. Is it different coming from online schooling rather than coming from being a fifth grader? Yes, actually, because you go from the, through the change of like, honestly, online schooling is a very like simple. Here it's more complex. That's like one of the very few changes. Other than there are a lot more people. Are you planning to be an e-leader? Maybe. I'd like to join. Someone has piqued my interest. Thank you. Did you get a new creature for the new year? <laughs> Welcome back to Creature Feature. This week's theme is Happy New Year's. This is JP and he likes to sleep. Make sure to submit to Creature Feature. Let's go see some creatures. Will your teacher be on the teach feature? I want to dedicate this song to you Because you care for me With you I feel safe and secure What is your name? Mrs. Peters What is one of your New Year's resolutions? I don't really make New Year's resolutions but I make semester resolutions and this semester I'm trying to, I'm taking some classes so I'm trying to balance all of the schoolness plus coachingness plus my schoolness. So just trying to stay organized and on top of things. 
What mildly annoying curse do you wish you could curse people with? I don't really wish to harm those, but I would not mind a very small paper cut for those that turn in that don't turn in assignments or that turn them in ridiculously late and make extra work for me. Small, mild, mild paper cut. What is the closest thing to real magic? The closest thing to real magic is imagination and it's really fun to watch my six-year-olds and their imagination and just the wild things that they come up with because to them it really is magic. Did you know? It's the year of the ox. Did you know that George Washington had a horse named Nelson? Now, today, the president has a thing called Air Force One, while George Washington had Air Horse One! You okay? Yeah, he's doing all right. Thirty-five new ways to start off your new year. Step one, now into the 35 essentials. Welcome back to the 35 essentials. Today we will be talking about essential number 35. Every effort to be as neat as possible in the new year. Or else. Did you know that if you don't listen to me, then there's always a chance that this could happen. What? We're so oh, so. That's it. Ah! No! Look. Ah! New year, new star. New superstar. Why did you choose Reed's video to send out? Reed's, I thought, was one of the best videos I have seen. It was so dramatic. It was just everything I asked for, and it talked about the volcano just like she was supposed to do. It was, it was just a, a cool video to watch, so I thought everybody else should see it as well. Welcome to Spectacular Science, and I'm- Why did you choose to make the video how you did? Um, I chose that video because um, I saw the E-Leaders videos and they used the same editing app that I did, and I thought that it was really well edited and I wanted to do a good job on that assignment, so I decided to do it that way. How did you make the video that you did? Um, I used We Video, and it was, um, for Com Arts and Reading, we have to have um, a login for that, so I just used that and decided to make it by myself, so I made it at home, and I just looked up some facts about it and used the textbook that we were using for our thing on site. And then how can others be a superstar like you? I think maybe getting organized more and being ready for the, every class that comes your way. And I think that if you spend more time on the weekends for an assignment that you know is due on Monday, it will help you get a better grade. But magma and lava are two different things. 
Lava is magma, but it has cooled and crystallized on the Earth's surface to become a rock. Magma is a very, very hot liquid that is found under the Earth's surface. So, you want to become an e-leader, huh? Well, let me tell you, today is the day for you to consider your chance of becoming an e-leader. All you have to do is walk to your computer, click on the link to the application, and fill it out. Once you're done, click submit and boom. Once we get your application and approve it, we'll give you an interview and you'll have the chance to become an e-leader. Rat. Tar. Art. All the same letters, different words. Just what I've done, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Someone said I would love less when I'm older. Pop it! <laughs> Twist it! Pull it! Let us go see the prince of pal. Welcome back to South Middle School second semester. A couple things to remember. Tardies will start over this semester. Every quarter they do. Tech infractions do not. So make sure you guys are taking your Chromebooks home every night, charging them, bringing them back the next day. It's going to be a great year. Make it. Focus on the, the new, new year. It's almost 9 p.m. Are you ready for the meeting? No, sir. There's been a minor setback in the experiment. I was attempting to put the cells into the centrifuge so we could splice them in half when I accidentally dropped the vial onto the floor? That sounds like a costly mistake. What did I say about mistakes, Millie? A mistake is only made when optimal attention is not being paid to the task at hand. One night long around, he's taking a hand. He locked up the barnyard with the graves of care. Out in the hen house up and stood. When he hollered, who's that? This is what he heard. There ain't nobody here but us chickens. There ain't nobody here at all. So quiet himself. Stop that fuss. There ain't nobody here but us. We chickens try to sleep. And you bust in. And hobble, 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 hobble with your chin. There ain't nobody here but us chickens. There ain't nobody here. I wonder what New Year's resolutions are in Miss Foxwell's desk. Hello, welcome back to What's in Mrs. Foxwell's Desk. Let's take a look. Yep, I see something that I want to share with you. A deck of cards. You know, we all love to play cards. It's a fun thing to do. But sometimes when we're playing cards, it reminds me of life. You know, when you're playing cards, 
you never know what you're going to get. You could get a joker, which is a trickster. And sometimes he can be of great value. Or you could get an ace, which is what we all want, the top card. Now, life is like a deck of cards because in life, we never know what we're going to get. You have to be ready for it all. Let's see what else is in Mrs. Boxwell's desk. Oh, here it is. It's going to be a surprise. So, you know, as you get older, bad things happen to your body. It's like the other day I was eating a piece of raisin bread and my tooth just broke right in half. So if that ever happens when I'm teaching, I have a spare tooth in my desk and I just put it in my mouth and then I'm ready to teach my class and everybody can see my tooth. I'm gonna have to go back to the dentist though because it doesn't quite fit. Well, that's all that's in Mrs. Foxwell's desk this week. See you next week. Sports. Watch this. Kaboom. Just the same. What are you doing? New Year's. New Year's Eve. Wonder whose arms will hold you. Good and tight when it's exactly twelve o'clock that night, welcoming in the new year. New Year's Eve. This year is twenty twenty one. Are you sure about that? Hello again everyone. This week's words of wisdom are take a course on basic auto repair. You could save yourself a lot of money over your lifetime. Thanks and have a great day. You know South Middle School, I've been thinking. They say one of the symptoms of COVID is that you lose your sense of taste and well have you seen the stuff that Mr. Morgan's been wearing lately? I think you might have an infection here at the school. Think about it. Twenty twenty one, more like twenty twenty one. Thank well.
hear the drums echoing tonight And she hears only whispers of some quiet conversation She's coming in 12.30 flight The moonlit wings reflect the stars that guide me towards salvation I stopped an old man along the way to find some old forgotten words or ancient melodies. He turned to me as if to say, hurry boy, it's waiting there for you. So this time, I'm going to tell you to go to the corner. Go. No. Go. Fine. Just because I want to have some talking too. Dominance! Happy New Year's! So, so... Some of us have all made like New Year's resolutions, and I know that's sometimes hard to keep on track with those. So, what are some ways that we could keep on track with our New Year's resolutions? And what are some good New Year's resolutions that we could have? Yeah. Well, you think about a New Year's resolution, and usually it has to do with doing some kind of thing or adopting a new habit that makes you better at something. So it improves your quality of life. Some people, well, a lot of people, because of all the advertisements you see about changing your lifestyle as far as exercising more and eating right, and, and those are hard. However, more of that has to do with your mindset. Telling yourself every day that you're gonna do the best you can at achieving your goal your New Year's resolution, whatever it is. Because the best thing, or 50% of it, is making yourself feel good about achieving your goal. So that's part of making a resolution, is giving yourself the self-confidence in achieving your resolution or your new goal. Yeah. Question, I think everybody should ask themselves this. You should ask yourself, what's something I can do to improve my current situation? What is something I can do to make my life better? Reading isn't new. But the year is.
Many of you probably have heard of Ruth Bader Ginsburg before. She was a Supreme Court justice, the second woman ever um, appointed to the Supreme Court, and she just passed away a couple of months ago. But before you can become a judge and a Supreme Court justice, you have to be a lawyer. And so one of the things a lot of people don't know about Ruth's career as a lawyer was that she helped fight for equal rights for a lot of people. And a lot of times the 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 cases that she took were men who were facing discrimination because they were men um, doing things that were typically um, things the government considered or companies considered feminine or female roles like caretaking and parenting and that kind of thing. So her um, early career um, opened doorways for her to, to defend the civil liberties of a lot of Americans. And I um, if you are interested in learning more about Ruth Bader Ginsburg and her monumental career, um, then I suggest the book Becoming RBG, by, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's Journey to Justice. It is a graphic graphic novel. Um, the story is written by Debbie Levy and the illustrations, excuse me, the illustrations are by Whitney Gardner. Um, great nonfiction book, but an easier read than a lot of nonfiction because it's a graphic novel, but you still get a lot of detail about the justice and her life. Um, this was written before she passed away, so it kind of leaves it um, unfinished in that way, but it's a really great way to learn more about her and her legacy. So if you would like to read Becoming RBG, it is available in the nonfiction section of our South Middle School Library. Do you have a book you'd like to tell viewers about? You can record yourself on your Chromebook and send it to eLeaders at JoplinSchools.org or you can email us and we will come film you. If you participate, you will get a free book. There's a bunch of books right here, like more than three, but... What is the color of the sky? Antarctica. Penguins will overpopulate. I think someone's gonna find some new type of lizard that has very toxic stomach, stomach acid and then throws it up and it just kills everything. Uh, so I think Corona is gonna end. Michael Jackson uh, isn't really dead. Uh, the COVID will get better. They're gonna find out Tupac's alive in Cuba. I think this year everybody's gonna go to school and go to work and that kind of stuff. I have a feeling that Corona's gonna slow down. Bell music news. New year, new bell music. But it's the same bell music. Alright, now, this week was, of course, Hopefully you've got it. New Year's, new resolution, you know, those types of things. New Year, same me. Now I have my trusty friend, The Leg, here. If he's bleeding, would this definitely be his head? Or is this just the top of his leg? So is he Bleeding out of his head. I need answers. I need. This was. Here's this week's winner. Right, right here in front of a leg. You can submit using eLeaders at jobandschools.org. Email. Email your guesses there. Make it convincing. Give me the answer in your submissions. Top leg or head? He's bleeding. He's fine. Goodbye. Roman, 
Did you know that a wall is made out of wall? I like turtles. Yeah, well, I like knowledge. Did you know that the first time New Year's Day was celebrated on January 1st was in 45 BC, the year the Julian calendar took effect? Selfie! <laughs> Give year. me the phone case! Yes. It's the phone case. Where is Teddy in this new year? Dun dun dun. Monday, school is off. And Thursday is the spelling bee. Spelling bee! Ah! Beep. Magic. Man.